Hey, welcome to Fermeter. This is a free tool I created to help people calculate brine for fermentation. The most common percentage is 2% brine, uh, so it starts there. This can be changed to just about anything. The amount of water depends on how much you will plan on fermenting. Um, I usually use about 4 cups of water when I do uh, a half gallon mason jar at 2%. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, and then, so if we were to do 4 cups of 2%, we're going to need 3.4 teaspoons, and this is calculating on real salt density, which is uh, not important if you're not getting advanced. All of this stuff does not have to be perfect science. A lot of people just go by taste. So this is really just to get you in the ballpark and get you to understand what you're trying to create here. Um, all of these have uh, extra defaults that I give you. So here's the 2% and common things that are listed. Onions, broccoli, cauliflower, carrot, potato, cabbage. Um, and you got 3.5 for cucumber, 5% uh, for pepper, 10% for pepper mash. And then on the um, water, we can change the size of the vessel. Um, you have a couple different things for US and UK. So if you're doing large batches, it might be easier to just go with uh, one of these larger containers. And then you can also change the size of the salt measurement. Um, so if you know you're going to be doing a lot um, at a high percentage or whatever, um, instead of doing 28 teaspoons, you can do tablespoons, or if you have a different measuring device, um, grams should help you convert that into whatever um, measuring size that is. And then you can also change the weight of the salt. Um, as salt gets larger, it's going to weigh less because it's going to have more air in between each piece of salt in the spoon. So um, again, this is for advanced. If you don't understand this, it's not a big deal. And if you have a custom amount of grams per teaspoon, you can set that here as well. So, um, oh, and then you can also use this on your phone and uh, tablet. Um, everything is designed to, you know, work nice and fast and, and easy for you. So you can get it done in the kitchen while you're uh, trying to do 800 other things. All right, so thanks for checking it out. And uh, give it a share if you can, if you don't mind, so uh, other people can use it. And uh, let me know if you have any questions or uh, comments on the Fermeter Facebook page. All right, thanks.